Hey guys, happy Thursday, and this is our traditional cardio focus day. Uh, this is a two-part workout with a running clock. You're going to have 40 minutes to complete this entire workout. So workout number one is going to be three rounds for time of 400 meter run and 50 ab mat sit-ups. All right, so ab mat sit-ups, we're going to use this ab mat. Remember, it has two sides. The thicker side is the one that goes close up to your body. Okay, you sit on the ground, not on the pad, all right? So you're gonna roll back, shoulder blades touch the ground, touch your hands, swing up, and sit all the way up, shoulder over the hip at the top. So you can really swing the arms, make sure you get all the way up, all the way down, every rep for 50 with a run. After you're done with that, you're gonna get a three minute rest and go into part two. Part two is a little bit longer. Uh, it's gonna be only two rounds. You're gonna run 800 meters, do 100 double unders, and then 40 regular push-ups. All right, so a uh, quick double under review. 100 reps is a lot, but again, today you have time. So today's a really good day to practice, struggle unders, doing your best, work on nice singles to start. Okay, I always tell people when you're doing singles, don't go too fast. If you go really fast, it's hard to translate that to your double under, right? So nice controlled singles, okay? As you get better, you're gonna try to work in a double and just try to keep the rope moving. So if you're doing something like that, the singles don't officially count. So maybe do 50 double unders per round. Okay. As you get better, you can try to connect those, those double unders together or put less singles in between maybe right before you get to, but like we talk about in so many other movements, really focus on keeping your chest nice and tall, right? Feel that the wrists are driving the movement. All okay? right. Another way of looking at this is spend maybe two to three minutes on your double unders before going to the next movement. All right. But again, if you're close, practice the movement and you will get better over time, I promise. All right. So that is the 100 double unders. Next, we have 40 push ups. So push ups are notoriously hard to keep standards. People get frustrated because your arms fail so quickly and it's hard to keep intensity high in a push up. So what we want to see is that we start in a straight line from the shoulder all the way down to the ankle and that line maintains the entire time. Your chest should touch the ground between your hands. You're not shooting your face down, right? We're not letting the hip sag. So the chest caps, gets a good lockout. Okay, so you're getting a good range of motion. When you need to, you rest. So as you hit failure, it goes on a small set. That's totally fine. I might do one at the end of a set and just keep good standards that way. Common scaling options. Number one is to elevate your hands. Okay, so nice rigid body position, tap the elbows and drive out. Okay, other is to use a band around your hips and that'll help support your midline and through the press. Okay, so 40 minutes to complete all of that stuff and that's it for the day guys. We'll see you tomorrow.